What's up everyone and welcome to a little quick thing. Uh, not much of you know unless you've been like following me on Twitter or Facebook or something. But I have actually been making a game on RPG Maker VX Ace. And I don't know when the fuck it's going to be finished but whatever. Uh, going through this little thing here real quick. Because for like the past 12 fucking hours or something. I've been <laughs> trying to figure out a way to get some certain shadows to work properly. And uh, let me show you here real quick. Alright, and so, <laughs> this guy here, uh, the Unpro Pro, uh, he's got some videos where he was showing how to do some stuff to get shadows in the game that you make without using this crappy shadow tool. And the way, to, like, this crappy shadow tool, like, that's the smallest shadow you can make, and that's actually pretty big, because you put four of those in a square, and it's like one little tile that you stand on. So, that's kind of annoying, especially how pixely that is. So, all you really have to do uh, for his method is just get like a picture, kind of like this one here that's now opening. There we go. A picture like this, and as you can see, sort of by the design of the black bits all around this here picture that you're looking at, uh, mixed with this design here. Uh, all I did is I took a screenshot of this entire thing, like pieced together, of course, because it's too big to fit on my screen all at once. Uh, piece it together, put it in uh, paint.net. You can use whatever program you want as long as it allows transparency and it has a, a sort of blurring tool. So I did that and then I went in and I added my own like custom shadows and everything. I just like by hand and everything, I added them in there. So like the weird, uh, this weird kind of an L shape sort of one is obviously for this building here this big barn and everything so that worked kind of cool it was like a very awesome idea but the problem was you go into it and it's like okay after a long annoying thing of getting the variables and everything working properly just to get these awesome looking shadows in you end up running into a problem where when you move the shadows move so <laughs> Of course, you know, the shadows, it, it's a cool little effect, but it, it, you don't want the shadows to move. And so after a long time of working around with his method and stuff, trying to figure out exactly how it worked, I figured out, okay, what happens is the program itself uh, it moves the pictures, because this, obviously, all these shadows it is a, a single picture, so... The picture, it wants to move with you, but you don't want it to move with you. So, whenever you move, the shadow moves. Now, the way to try and keep it in its own spot and make it appear as though it's not really moving uh, is to uh, go through a few variables and some math and stuff and make it so it goes back in the direction that you don't want it or you want it to stay in so if you go down or something the, the shadows are trying to go down with you so what happens is then instead of the shadow going down all the time and just following you the little variables and the method this guy did is it forces it to go back up uh, same as if you go right then it goes left but you can still see it move away a little bit and that's actually because of the way the game sort of handles the code and everything so the main engine and everything all the code for the game program and everything itself uh, where the picture wants to move it gets handled and processed first and the second uh, bit of information that gets processed is of course the little method used to force the shadow back so what happens is it goes a little part of the way but then it tries to force itself back because of that little method so that doesn't really work, but if you're doing some other stuff where it's not shadows or anything, then it can actually work out good. But after all the work I did looking to figure out a way to resolve it, I actually managed to come across a very, very simple script. It's right here. I'll put a link to it in the description. Very fucking simple. It's 14 lines of code. And all you have to do with this, instead of just... Uh, using a basic picture. Use this basic picture, but you also add a little prefix here. All you have to do is add fixed to the beginning of the picture you're going to use. And let's go ahead and switch a little event here to show you what that looks like. 
because it works out so fucking perfectly. It's incredible. And I think I also forgot to mention, uh, sorry about my mic quality being so low this time. I got it up above my monitor and stuff because I have it out of the way. I'm getting ready for when I get my preamp and sound card and everything to use my new mic. So my new mic is already set up. I'm just waiting for the other stuff so I can actually use it. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll go ahead and save here and start this back up again. When you actually see this thing here, uh, it looks the same as his method until you move. When you move, it, it doesn't, it doesn't fuck it up. The shadows stay still exactly like you want them to stay still. So now you can actually use these shadows and it's fucking incredible. Uh, you can have amazing looking shadows on this thing. You can make them big, small, whatever the fuck you want. You can put a bunch of stuff too. Uh, I think this, if I remember reading all the stuff right, you can actually have a hundred pictures at once and all these, it's all on a single picture too. So everything here, one fucking picture. And it might look a little laggy to you because, uh, Fraps doesn't really like this program for some reason. I don't know why. And this thing doesn't really like to run at 30 frames a second, and I'm kind of running at 30 frames a second, because, well, even though it says 60, it, it's trying to run at 60, because it wants to run at 60, whatever. Um, so, yeah, the freaking shadows I got in are working out perfectly now, thanks to that simple little fucking script here. And all I have to do, go to script editor, way down here, all I have to do, add it right underneath materials. I got all this other shit because I'm using other stuff. I'm using Victor Sands, uh, battle, or basic module, animated battle, actors battlers, and another one that's not actually by Victor Sand, it's by someone else. I don't remember who it is exactly, but it's leader lock, that way I can, or it's not called leader, it's just lock formation. You can lock certain people in formation and stuff. I just call it leader lock because I'm mostly going to be using it for leader locking, like disallowing his formation to be changed position and everything. So, there is all this stuff here, and this is all it is that you have to use. You just copy and paste this in. You don't even, everything that's green, you don't actually need. Uh, that's all commented out crap. So, this line here, and these lines there, that's all you need. And once you put that in, all you have to do, whatever picture you want to use, drag it into your pictures folder in wherever the fuck you put this folder. Uh, mine's just in Documents, RPG Maker VX Ace, uh, the game name, graphics, pictures. And you just put it in there and you rename it with the prefix fixed. And it will prevent that picture from moving. And it's so freaking perfect. It's awesome. And it's going to be very fucking helpful later on. <laughs> I haven't tried uh, animated light yet, but I'm going to try that when I do like inside stuff. But for outside, I don't want the light or shadows or anything to be like moving because that seems a little unrealistic. If it's inside or like there's torches around or something, then I'll uh, d uh, go more detail into that. But for this, it's just, it's very basic. Uh, only downside is that if you use a picture, then you got to make sure you remove every other shadow because uh, walls and stuff will automatically add shadows and stuff. But that's very easy to remove, and you just got to be careful and stuff uh, to make sure you get everything just how you want. I still have to touch up my uh, freaking shadows a little bit, but that's pretty much it. And the guy who I've been responding to this entire fucking time is the Unpro Pro. Let's see what he said here. Uh, yes, my glit. Yes. <laughs> Big time annoying the hell out of me. There we go. Alright, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and check this guy out if you want to look more uh, RPG Maker stuff. He's got some kind of neat ideas and stuff. It, uh, working with it and stuff. I'm not really putting up a lot of these videos because mine's just like gaming channel. Um, but yeah, here this video is. Now you know how to use it and everything. So... Go ahead, and if you want to freaking use your own custom shadows in this program, use that uh, script. It's going to be in the uh, description and everything. But until some other time, I will actually see you guys later. Bye. Comment, like, subscribe. Fuck yeah!